And with July going down as the hottest month in recorded history, Jacksonville now getting ready for more scorching temperatures. City officials say that cooling centers will be open when temperatures reach dangerous levels. We've seen it in the past few weeks. There could be more later this summer. News for Jackson reporter Jim Pickett shows us where and when these centers could open. You know, it is hot out, but given all of the rain that we've had lately and the weather the way it's been, well, the temperature's not been hot enough to open up those cooling centers. But the city is keeping an eye out for the next heat wave that comes through, and we could see those cooling centers open if the feels-like temperature gets over 108 degrees. When it's dangerously hot out, certain Jacksonville public libraries are going to be used not just for reading, but a place where people can go to get relief from the heat. Five libraries and the Legend Center will become cooling centers. So that's the biggest thing with the cooling centers is to provide people an opportunity to get out of the heat, which primarily is going to is going to end up helping their their situation and then make sure they get hydrated. This map shows the locations of the cooling centers, which will open when the feels like temperature is over 108 degrees for three days in a row or 113 degrees for just one day. The centers will be open from 12 to 6 during the hottest part of the day. Now, the library branches are always available during regular business hours, but what makes this unique is that JTA will provide free bus service for those who need to get there. One of the concerns is those with health issues during the heat. Those who are having health issues are urged to call 911 and not go to the centers. We have had high temperatures every summer, but we are breaking records this year. For example, not only is this the hottest July on record, but we have had a 32-day streak where the feels-like temperature, that's that heat index, has been great greater than 100 degrees. It's not just the heat, it's the humidity too. And that's the real, the real hazard. So the next time that the weather warrants that the city is going to let us know, and we'll pass it on to you. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.